<laughs> yo, yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video, guys. <laughs> so, guys, um, I met an amazing lady, you know. She's a Ghanaian, but she lives in the US. Which mm -hmm. state in the US? Ohio. Ohio. And then she's visiting Ghana. And then she's been around for two weeks now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, she's gonna share her experiences, you know, visiting Ghana. How long have you been away, though? I've been away, the last time I was here was five years ago. Wow, so now she's been away for five years <laughs> and then she's looking at Ghana from a different eye. Mm -hmm. You know, it's more like one of the foreigners I do interview actually. Mm -hmm. So she's gonna see, um, see her experiences, you know, being in Ghana. So stay tuned, watch the video, you know, like the video if you like it, share with your family and friends. Yeah, you ready? I'm ready. Alright, let's get into it. So, um, you wanna tell them what your name is? Okay, hi, my name is Beatrice. Beatrice? <laughs> Beatrice. Yeah, Beatrice. Should I say my last name? Beatrice Opong. Opong. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, are you a student? I graduated from school. Okay. So nice. I'm working now. Nice. I'm making a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um, you know, you've been away for, you know, for like five years, as you mm -hmm. said. And so, what, how has your experience in Ghana been for the past two years you've been around? It's been pretty good. Okay. The energy here has been amazing. Okay. It's been calm. I've been traveling at all hours of the night and I have felt safe every way. Nice. <laughs> so it's very it's been very comforting to come back. Nice. I've been I've been away for like sixteen years. Wow. This is the first time I've been back by myself. So I was a little bit nervous about it, but yeah. it's been really good. Good, I see. You look forward to coming back? I do. With your friends? With my friends, yeah. I think they're gonna come back next year. I don't know about me, but we'll see. How about moving back to Ghana? Moving back, wow. <laughs> wow. If I can get an amazing job here, I would love to move back. Okay. So let's um, let's know the kind of jobs you're looking for so people can help you out. <laughs> I want to work at an embassy, so any international jobs, okay. <laughs> UN jobs, <Okay. laughs> just let me know. I am into fashion blogging, so if anybody wants to bring me out here to sponsor, let me know. Okay. <laughs> So guys, um, if you are watching this video and you have these opportunities, you know, all these links, you know, do please put out to because if you want to move back to Africa and if you want to help with the continent, you know what I mean? So if you have this opportunity, what's your, what's your blog um, link? It's called beautybblog.com. Okay. And how about Instagram? Instagram Independent Beauty. Independent <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> and, uh, and so how, how do you find the granny, you know, nightlife, you know? Vibe, it's been know? nice yeah. um it's really chill it consists of a lot of different things mm -hmm. i think usually in the states when we go out it's just you your friends and drinks here there's food yeah. there's hookah yeah. there's um kebabs yeah. so i like it it's been very nice. very nice so what about ghana do you like the most so far what do i like the most yeah. um i like the peace I like the peace and I like the community. Okay. Even if you don't know people, they always talk to you like they know you. Yeah. And I like it a lot. Like I did. Like you did. Ah. Like how you did. Just walked right up to me. <laughs> and now we're besties. Yeah, you see? <laughs> oh, nice. So what about Ghana do you like the least? What do I like the least? Yeah. How do people here talk about it? Okay. Because I think coming here, I have been very excited and I've seen a lot of good things. Mm -hmm. Being back and I've seen a lot of growth. Mm -hmm. But the people here talk about it in such a negative way. Oh. Like they don't see it from the perspective that we do. And I, I, it really surprises me. Because okay. I think there's so much. I work I work right now with refugees. Mm -hmm. And there's so much peace in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And to come here and to move around and to see how much this country has developed. It's really shocking that I just, every time I'm. I was when I was here earlier. I asked the guy, like, you can you tell me you're pro? And we just talked for an hour about cons. Wow. Like nobody can tell me anything positive except that it's peaceful. It's really That's cool. really sad. <laughs> so people are not seeing the positive thing. They're not. <clears throat> or maybe it's because of the media. Because what turns in the most is the negative news. I agree. We were also talking about um, how Ghana still adopts. Um, other cultures. Mm -hmm. So one of the main things I brought up was the Supreme Court mm -hmm. and how they still wear the white wigs mm -hmm. and the robes and yeah. that's European culture yeah. and we should do our own. We should just take that off and do our own yeah. thing. But yeah. Do you see Ghana as a Pan-African nation? As a what? A Pan-African nation. I do. I think they're trying to be westernized but I don't see that as westernized. Okay. I really don't. I see that as its own Pan-African yeah. country. Yeah. yeah. Do you think um, African Americans or Africans you know, anywhere in the globe can like really move back to Ghana and like really really live their potentials, like bring out their creativity and live life here? Think I think Ghana? they mm -hmm. can. The mm -hmm. only thing I'm like nervous about mm -hmm. is jobs. Mm -hmm. I think like where I'm from, there are so many different jobs and so many different organizations mm -hmm. um, that I think that's the only barrier. Yeah. I feel like somebody would have to come here and mm -hmm. start 
that type of economy for people to move here and mm -hmm. to live and to be self-sufficient because okay. if they come here i feel like they're gonna struggle because it's a hustle yeah. and we're not used to that environment we're used to it like i'm used to consistency yeah. and i think here you don't know what you're gonna get yeah. so i think you should build something here and if you do have something here and you move back you mm -hmm. will thrive you'll yeah. be okay yeah. All right. So I have a lot of African Americans, mm -hmm. you know, who want to move back to Africa. Uh -huh. But I've been asking, what business opportunity? What what are some of the things that I can do? Can mm -hmm. I do in Ghana or mm -hmm. in Africa? So even in Ghana, for the past two weeks, you know, looking at Ghana from a different eye, what business opportunities do you think uh, people who want to move back to Africa? Let's say African Americans, mm -hmm. so Africans, you know, anywhere in the world who want to move back to Ghana can like capitalize on or build upon. I think there is so much room mm -hmm. to start a business here. Okay. There are so many hustlers here in Ghana. People are all over it in the streets, yeah. um, just making their own money and they're all selling different things that you wouldn't even see. Yeah. So I think while you're in your westernized, American, UK, wherever you are country, yeah. save, start a business here, move here and you'll prosper. Yeah. So can you give us like an example of a business one can do, like a tangible? You know? A tangible business? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think Ghanaians like a lot of Americanized, a lot of westernized things. Okay. So things that we enjoy in the States. So things like um, yoga or something. It's like it's something that's come to us, but it'll be something that's really cool here. I'm trying to think of other random businesses. Um, like food trucks or something people sell a lot of foods yeah. like just out on their like on their feet but like yeah. in a popular area like this putting a food truck yeah. here yeah. you will get so much mm -hmm. money that's true i agree yeah food sales in ghana because the people are plenty yeah, yeah. food I sells know, a lot of us too depend on the outside mm -hmm. food. food water yeah. they all sell yeah, that's very true um yeah i'm almost getting to the interview okay yeah <laughs> i have to go but okay yeah how, how do you feel about interview so far though it's been good. It's been very good. Uh, I like the questions. Oh, nice. <laughs> Is there anything I tell the people that I didn't ask you? Um, that Ghana is amazing. Yeah. Come, come see the Gold Coast, this beautiful, beautiful country um, that is built on independence. And we're standing here at Kwame Nkrumah's uh, memorial, and that just shows how far this independence goes. Yeah. Um, check out my fashion blog, yeah. Beauty B. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. This is from our perspective, you know, being a Ghanaian living in the U.S. Are you a Ghanaian or African American? Or? All the way, 100% Ghanaian <laughs> from the Gold Coast. Oh, but Fanti? No, Bono. Ah, oh, okay. What? <laughs> 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 uh, all right, guys. So this is the interview. Until I come your next time. Enjoy. Bye bye. 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 Thank you. Tell them Africa we don't die. Here comes the African giant